we all understand protein in a broad sense, um, but we know that uh, some proteins, like dal, like dal is a, is a source of protein, but it doesn't have the nine essential amino acids. <laughs> The nine essential amino acids the body doesn't produce. We got to take it from foods. Now, why is um, these nine essential amino acids, why is it so important for us to have it in our protein intake? What, it, what is the role it plays in good health and in like a good uh, diet? So uh, the reason why protein needs to be taken on a daily basis is precisely this. The nine essential amino acids which are not produced by the body and therefore they need to be provided in the diet. Uh, you've made a very good point Pramila. Dals are an excellent source of protein. There is no doubt about that. But it's the quality of the protein that is a cause for concern. Now uh, like 20 percent depending upon the source that you look at you know pulses dals are a good source. But if you look at the the amino acid composition, especially if you look at branch chain amino acids, or now, uh, which are very, very critical for you know uh, our metabolism, our, our the health of our enzyme systems, you do not get that from most plant sources. Now, there are smart ways to hack this, and uh, we call these limiting amino acids. For example, if you look at a protein from a vegetable source like dal, you find that there are limiting amino acids, and the deficiency of this particular amino acid prevents this protein from being ideal. So you can sometimes complement certain plant proteins which are used in certain vegan uh, protein supplements, I, I use them myself, that helps us address this. But at a food level, the dal protein is not of very high quality, which is the reason why uh, you know, you'll he often hear nutritionists refer to egg protein as a reference protein because it's complete, it has all the essential amino acids. So the smart way for a person who's a vegan uh, is to actually use plant proteins that complement each other and help address the limiting amino acids from one source with the limiting amino acids from another source and they kind of complement each other and then they become the complete protein that uh, you could be looking at. So, you, so you're saying that uh, if we try to get all our source of protein with the nine essential amino acids from a plant source, it is a very big effort. It is a huge effort Pramila and you will not get it from one source and you really have to be a smart you know very you know a person who understands protein chemistry to be able to select the different sources for example soy is a good source of plant protein chickpea is a good source of plant protein and to a certain extent certain grains like wheat uh, but you, you need to know in exact proportions and you know and by the way pulses also have a lot of carbs in them and here in India, one of the big problems we face is that we have a diet which is carb dense already. Culturally, we have a carb dense diet. So if you're going to try to get all your protein from pulses alone, you're also going to be consuming a lot of carbs and that contributes to visceral obesity. So it's, it's really a challenge to get it right that way. Really? So for someone like me who is um, passionate about uh, plant-based diet, whole foods, I mean, I prefer to eat plants and whole foods than um, you know meat sources of protein but I also have an understanding that I cannot get enough protein from my plant-based diet True. so I incorporate some eggs in my diet I give it to my family I also use like you talked about a plant um, uh, plant protein that the composition is complete yep. uh, and uh, you know the mixture is complete with True. the nine essential Absolutely. amino acids I use that a lot of you see I added in the smoothies I added in dosa batter right so I try to I try to incorporate some of that I also use a quality whey protein I get 30 grams of whey protein so if you cannot eat like me you cannot eat a lot of meat or you don't want to eat a lot of meat or uh, too many eggs there are solutions I mean you can eat some almonds too but of course we know we cannot eat huge quantities of almonds because there is a lot of carbohydrates in that too yeah. right so you, there are solutions if you want if you're mindful of it and you could supplement you could use some foods that's what you're trying to say exactly that if you try to get it all from food source 
it's very complicated. Very complicated. But you could use solutions where you get some protein source. Yep. What, what is your understanding of that? So I completely agree with you. I am a firm believer in the fact that diets should be as organic as possible. But I also understand in today's time and age, with the kind of requirements that we have, for protein intake it's impossible to try and get everything from the diet alone i am a firm believer in supplementation i use a vegan protein supplement that pramila has just spoken about but i'm also very passionate about whey uh, as a protein supplement the reason is uh, let me just explain this to you pramila uh, let's look at what whey is whey is basically milk protein but also understand that milk in its natural source has carbs has fat and it has protein we are not interested we don't want any more carbs we don't want extra fat so those are removed in the process of making whey protein and the protein is pre-digested now why is pre-digestion important here in our country in india uh, as little children we all suffer episodes of rotavirus diarrhea and this compromises the ability of the intestine to absorb digest and absorb protein so when we have a pre-digested protein that part is taken care of and within 45 minutes of consumption the essential amino acids in the right proportion especially branch chain amino acids like leucine isoleucine valin all of these are available in exactly right proportions to the system to the body so i think it makes so much sense in 30 grams of whey protein pre-digested completely balanced pdcas of 100 which is ideal is just available to you i'm personally sorted i know i've taken care of my protein requirements for the day when i've had those one or two scoops of whey protein wow. when you speak of whey protein uh, many people will get this idea of some you know bodybuilder you know with grotesque muscle <laughs> uh, kind of you know pumping muscle and uh, having huge amounts of i mean the the whey protein that uh, we get a lot of times is filled with additives for muscle growth and that's not what we are looking for i mean we're looking for preserving muscles uh, maintaining muscle mass and so can you explain to us when we look at whey protein what are we looking at a uh, very good question so there are various uh, standards uh, that we uh, have when we speak about whey protein if you walk into any sports nutrition store you t likely to see standard whey gold standard platinum platinum hydro whey etc what's very important to understand is the relative proportion of you know protein the digestible the good quality protein that we're paying for in various in these preparations please understand that here in india adulteration is rampant there have been studies that have been you know published by the fssai talking about the very high levels of adulteration secondly we have also got to be cognizant of the source of you know the milk from which the whey is derived so if and if you look at the level of adulteration in milk in our country today uh, the antibiotics the the pesticides that residues that find their way into the milk so if you have contaminated raw material the way that goes that comes out is also likely to be contaminated and you correctly pointed about pointed out the unauthorized or you know illegal additives that are sometimes added to you know pro provide a product that appeals to a person who wants to build grotesque muscles so my point here is be very careful about the source uh, you know the quality of the product you buy and be also very careful about how much protein it contains i've often ha had people come and tell me that oh this particular brand is really tasty if something is tasty please remember there's added fat and added carbs and sugars to make it and of course flavors artificial flavors to make it appealing to your palate so be almost warned that if you get a real good quality protein it is unlikely to be very tasty wow so you know to sum it up you know we're very thankful to you dr nair for your time but to sum it up we just uh, this is not about like should you turn vegetarian or should you eat non veg or should you eat this protein or should you do that i just want to throw out an awareness you know calculate the amount of protein you're taking for yourself every single day there are so many free apps you can use uh, there's so many uh, pointers you can use but if you're aware at least getting one gram per body weight kilogram, you know, for a day. So you know whether you are protein deficient or you are okay. So what I do for myself is I measure how much protein I take every single day. And once you know you're not getting enough, you can do something about it. But if you're unaware, we do nothing about it. So this was just a conversation to create an awareness. Um, Please be aware 
it is a big problem in the long run. True, you very know? true, absolutely. It takes years and years and years for this deficiency to crop up, to prop up. But when it comes, it hits, yep. it hits hard. And you know, as a doctor, you've seen it so many times. Thank you so much, Dr. Nair, for your time. Great pleasure being here. If this video is helpful, hit the share button and share it with a friend.